Good evening. This is Alpha Camara for NYU Now. A prison riot in Freetown, Sierra Leone's main capital on the 29th of April left 12 people dead. The incident happened a few days after a COVID-19 patient was tested in the correctional center. Pademba Road Prisons is the country's main correctional center housing over 2,000 inmates. Residents of the capital city, Freetown, we are worried after seeing plume of smoke coming out of the facility. <laughs> Few minutes later, security personnel were all over firing live bullets as they tried to contain the situation. It continued for several hours before the country's fire force was calling to put out the fire. When the situation was put under control, the vice president visited the facility to update the public and the press. Level, you have seen the level of destruction. And then as of now, the report coming out of here is that as of now, 11 inmates and one officer lost his life and uh, you get 42 inches. he also inspected the facility to see firsthand some of the destruction caused by the incident meanwhile human rights organizations have condemned the government for allowing an infected covid-19 inmate to stay in the prison for days before being detected even though he had signs of the virus the fact that we all over africa places of detention are overcrowded. So this call that we put out was just based on the fact that ordinarily inmates are more at risk and vulnerable because they are in contained, in, in, in contained places of detention, which with, for longer periods with less ventilation, they don't have access or they might have but restricted access to health services. They, they don't have access to nutritious meals and much more during a pandemic they don't have so much access to that so it would be catastrophic for an outbreak to happen in this place. so we called upon the Sierra Leone government to ensure that it can release pre-trial detainees and particularly vulnerable inmates petty offenders people who have committed as a preventive way away uh, COVID in prison and uh, we have still called the government to release uh, inmates. Some of the high-profile or well-known prisoners, including former Defense Minister Alfred Paolo Conte, have been relocated to a safe location as the government is finding ways to rehabilitate the areas destroyed in the correctional center and a committee has been set up to look into the matter further. As at present, over 120 people have been tested positive for COVID-19 in the country with seven deaths and people believe these incidents at the Correctional Center will sway the government's efforts in fighting COVID-19. Reporting for NYU Now, this is Alpha Kamara in New York.